Hey there, this is Vanessa D. Berlain. Today we're going to go over five tips that are going to help increase your video quality for your YouTubes. A lot of times when we're new, we're so worried about just filming and just doing it that we forget about some little tips that are going to help the quality of our YouTube video be better. So get yourself a notebook, take some notes, and let's get started. One. This is my favorite tip. One of my favorite tips is keep it simple. Sometimes we overcomplicate things, especially when we're trying to make a video. Um, we're watching all these other people that have been doing it for years and we're like, I want my video to be at their level and you're not ready to be there yet. So give yourself grace, let yourself be where you're at and keep it simple. It's okay to be simple. The thing is, it's not so much how complicated or how simple the video is. What matters is, is the content that you're giving helping someone? I have watched videos that are two minutes long. It answered my question, fantastic. Then I've watched videos that are 30 minutes long and I got nothing out of it. So it has nothing to do with how long it was or how many things are flashing in your face as you go along if they don't mean anything to the content or to the question that you're answering. Does that make sense? So keep it simple. Only give the information that you need to, to give during the video. And with that, keeping it simple, don't sit there and worry about how long the video is going to be. I know I worried about that in the beginning, like, oh my gosh, if my video is in at least 10 minutes or 15 minutes long, then nobody's going to want to watch it. And again, it doesn't matter how long it is. It doesn't matter how fancy it is. What matters is, are you answering somebody's question and are they getting the problem solved and everybody moves on, okay? Number two, make sure you have good audio. I know of myself, I used my iPhone at first when I started videotaping and I was using the audio <laughs> on the phone. And especially if you've got it too far away, you're not gonna get good audio quality. There are a couple I recommend right away. If you don't have a good microphone, get one of those lavaliers. It's just a little tiny microphone that hooks to your shirt and it has like a six foot cord to it. You can buy them with 12 feet, you know, different sizes. But when I would videotape outside, I always clip that on. I have my iPhone on my tripod, you know, at a distance and the quality of my audio is right there and it's perfect. Now, I also have a Yeti microphone that I use when I videotape in the house, and that too has been fantastic. I've been very pleased with it. Both links are below. You can even go research others yourself. There's a lot of them out there, but those are the two highly recommend, and I took forever <laughs> to decide to buy them because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Number three, you want to make sure that you avoid dead space in your video. And what I mean by that is sometimes people will start talking in their video and then they might get hung up on something. Maybe they're doing a screen share where they're trying to show you step by step how to do something. And I've done this myself. And then all of a sudden you made a mistake. You clicked on something that you shouldn't have clicked. And then all of a sudden you stop talking and you're clicking around trying to figure out what you really meant to do. And before you know it, your audience has left. Now, how do you take care of that? In the beginning, when I took care of that, I used to start all over from the beginning and keep going because I did not know how to edit at all. And I was just worried about getting a video out that answered a question. Well, there's very simple software editing, uh, simple software editing tools out there. See there, I just messed up. Um, they're, the one that I use is called Camtasia. I've been very, very happy with it, but you don't have to buy anything. There are free editing software tools out there that you can use. And if that's all you need to learn how to do right now is just edit out those mistakes or edit out that dead space where you stop talking and you're thinking, do it. Because the better you make your video where your viewer can see that you're on topic and you're sharing what you meant to share, it's going to keep their attention. So with that, make sure that you have a simple software editing tool so that you can get all that stuff out of there. And from there, as you get better, you can start learning how to do other cool things. But in the beginning, that's all you need to know. And number four, I, I really wanna stress this, is set the scene for your video. Know where you're going to videotape at. Like make sure you pay attention to your background. Make sure it's not too busy, not too cluttered. And you know, if you're outside, which I love to videotape outside. I love it when it's a nice sunny day. I live out in the country and 
I love to share that with people so that they can see, you know, it's a beautiful day. Maybe the chickens are clucking and you can hear different frogs croaking or whatever, but it's kind of cool for the viewer. They get to see me in a different, different atmosphere and not always in the same place, but make sure when you pick that place, that you're paying attention to your surroundings. So maybe you are outside, but if you live by the road, you wanna make sure cars aren't coming by, you wanna make sure it's not windy out because the wind can mess up your audio, little things like that. But definitely change your scenery. I love that when people do it. And make sure you know what you're gonna say. So when you get on your video, you know, say what you're gonna say. Say, this is what my video is about today. And that gives people the opportunity to click out if they're not interested in what you have to say or stick around there's nothing worse than sitting there for 20 or 30 minutes and somebody's just rambling and you don't even know what the video is about or maybe they haven't even answered your question and i know what they're trying to do they're trying to run that clock up because the more views they get the better but if that's what you have to do to get views i don't think you're going to grow very quickly just say what you need to say and if it's five minutes great if it takes 30 minutes that's okay too and people are are happy with that they just want their questions answered okay so make sure you set that scene up um, and you mention that topic and keep your flow going now a lot of people have asked me um, do you use a script do you write everything out that you're gonna say no I don't I just make a bullet point list and I talk from that for me if I sat down and wrote everything out I had to say and put it in front of me when I'm talking to you you're gonna feel like I'm reading to you and not that I can't read not that I don't have a good reading voice, but I don't want to read something to you. I want to talk to you and share my knowledge with you. And for me, that works. For other people, it might work to have a script all typed out. Um, you have to decide what's best for you and what seems more natural. And last but not least, one other tip, make sure you're consistent. I want you to be consistent in the topics that you're sharing. Make sure they're all related to each other. Don't uh, make a video or a channel about um, how to play the guitar and then all of a sudden go oh I love to sing too and then all of a sudden start talking about sing singing now they're related but in the beginning people are gonna look for you because you're giving guitar lessons and not singing lessons and for some of us we can't do both some of us can't do either so concentrate on the guitar part and really make all your videos about that and be consistent when you get a huge following here and there you can go off on related topics i've noticed that um you'll see those people that have been around for five and six years six years they can talk about anything and people will watch they've just gotten to that point where we love to follow them we're a fan and we'll listen to anything they have to say but when you're new that's not going to happen all right so make sure you're very consistent in your topic and also be consistent in how often you are pro providing content. Don't make just one video a month. You're gonna take 10 years to grow if you ever grow. If you say you're gonna make four videos a week, then make them and be consistent in making them so that the people who are subscribing to you know to expect those videos from you. So consistency is key. It's gonna help you grow your channel and help you to have, um, have a better YouTube quality. All right and the consistency even in your you in in the video itself you know don't don't um keep trying to be different every time you do it in the sense that we're not really sure where you're coming from does that make sense so those are my five tips to help you have a better quality youtube experience video and channel wise and i hope it was helpful i hope they were simple enough that you can follow them i do notice um, if you notice i always give five or seven tips i try to stick under 10 because i really want you to be able to write them down and use them to help you become better at what you're doing if you have any questions or anything or you want to add to those tips to help people have a better um, channel better quality please feel free to share it doesn't bother me if other people add to my content and with that make sure you subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next video